Jamie McMurray won a two-lap sprint to the finish to take the checkered flag in NASCAR's biggest race Sunday. McMurray held off Dale Earnhardt Jr. on a late restart to win the 52nd Daytona 500, just his fourth Sprint Cup victory. The Joplin, Missouri native's best previous finish in the 500 was 26th two years ago. I believe everything happens for a reason, and I, I just was like, I hope this isn't his turn to win the Daytona 500. I hope this is mine. Um, and I, you can't tell when you look out of the back of the car how fast they're closing. I mean, you can tell they're closing, but you, you can't tell at rate, the rate they're closing. And I was looking at the start-finish line, looking at my mirror, looking at the start-finish line, and I thought, I don't think he's going to be able to beat me to it. The 2004 champ, Earnhardt, charged from 10th place to 2nd over the final two laps, but couldn't get by McMurray, who wins the Great American Race for the first time. It's great for our team to have a finish good anywhere, no matter what. So I was happy. Uh, I'm happy for the, for the finish, and, and it gives them, gives, validates the changes they made and the hard work they've done over the offseason to, to, to get better. The race was red flagged twice because of a pothole on the track. The initial fix took one hour and 40 minutes, but after running 36 laps, the patched pothole broke up. A second repair took 44 minutes. It was in a dip in the track surface, and we have many dips throughout this surface, so it, was, it couldn't have been in a worse spot, and we're not sure whether we had pavement failure or perhaps a car dug into it and lifted the, the pavement out. We've got to study that. We've got to evaluate that. Some fans left before the thrilling finish. Four-time Sprint Cup champion Jimmy Johnson finished back in 35th place. Mike Gracia, the Associated Press.